The following segment is sponsored by Ziegler Meats. Welcome back to Talk of Alabama. We are in the Mazer kitchen this morning with Shane and Trace from Ziegler's and we've got chili, we've got bacon wrapped smoked sausage. We're ready for a party. I wish y'all would just be able to come here and tailgate with us because that's what it feels like. Well, that's uh, that's what we're trying to, to do today. Uh, okay. We're going to make an easy chili recipe. Okay. Um, and the great thing about this chili recipe is it eliminates the need to uh, brown hamburger meat and drain the grease. Gotcha. So you can do this at a tailgate site over okay. a, you know, a Coleman stove. Okay. Or you can make this at home really quick. And uh, we'll start real quick by adding, uh, this is a one pound package of Ziegler's chili con carne, okay? Okay, gotcha. And this right here has the meat, the seasoning, all of the good stuff in there. And I'm gonna hand the, the bag here to my compatriot Trace. Okay. And we're gonna wanna just kinda break it up and stir it around a little bit on okay. medium heat. Okay? Medium heat, You don't gotcha. wanna scorch it. Okay. And once, you know, it, it'll take a few minutes to, to get to a, a nice consistency because you wanna get, Get it all heated up and get the juices and the grease going. Okay. All right. But then after that. I was going to say, you've got some cans that are already yeah, open here. That's right. And all you got to do, let me turn this heat up just a tad. I didn't want to put it in there and it just steam away a while ago when we yes. came back from break. All right. And once you get this rolling, mix it around. And then all you're going to add is two cans of chili beans. Okay. Two cans of chili beans. All right. Add those two. So this is also a very affordable dish. It, 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 it sure is. It's, it's relatively cheap and affordable. And again, the, their main selling point on this is it's simple. It's a yes. simple recipe. Yes. All right, we'll mix your beans in. And then we're going to add some tomatoes. On top of it. Okay, got Just you. Just one can of diced tomatoes. Okay. Simple, again. Mix all that up. Keep stirring. And if you're like me, and you like a little spice to your chili? Yes. I recommend and adding one little can here okay. of uh, chopped green chilies. Okay. And this this will uh, add a little tang or a little bite to the chili. Yes. Yeah, you know, so. Okay. And then what you're just going to do is just continue to mix. My five-year-old loves chili, which is interesting because you'd think some kids would not like it, but I feel like it's a universal dish. I'm a chili connoisseur. I, I, I make yeah. it four or five times a year in the winter. Yeah. Um, but this recipe right here, uh, and this right here is the actual container, yeah. which can be found at grocery retail outlets all throughout Alabama. Okay, got you. Um, it's great to make in a hurry. Yes. It's great to make at a tailgate or a football party. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, as Java mentioned earlier, today is officially the first day of fall. Yep. Although it still feels like summer. It so. does. It was only like high 80s yesterday. <laughs> exactly, and I think the same today. <laughs> But you know what? We're not going to complain, right? Because we have our good health. That's what I tell my kids. When they want to complain, I'm like, listen, you have a home, you have good health, you've got your family. We're not allowed to complain about anything. Exactly. So what you're going to do after you get this mixed to a good consistency is you're just going to keep heating it, maybe cover it. I'm not going to cover it this morning. I'm just going to heat it and keep stirring it. Okay. Uh, can you, I've always wondered, can you freeze chili with the beans? Is it okay if you make a big dish and then you've got leftover? I don't see why why you can't. As long okay. as you put it in a freezer bag, you can freeze it. Now this uh, this actual item right here, I, I keep some at my house and I put it in the freezer. Yes. Just in case I don't want to use it, you know, in the next 30 days yes. or so. But it also has a great shelf life. So these are good too. I know for all the moms out there watching, it, it inevitably you're going to have impromptu little play dates where you've got friends and neighbors that just stop over, mm -hmm. and it starts in you know early evening, and then people get hungry, and you got to have something to be able to feed a group. So this is a nice option to keep in, in the counter in the. And another thing, if you've got some great Ziggler hot dogs, you can throw those on and yes. then make a chili dog with it. Okay. So, so when we come back, uh, you're going to be doing the bacon wrapped sausage. Right. Okay. We'll be back in just a few minutes, gentlemen. We've got to take a quick commercial break, but next, all the details on a 24 hour gym that's right off 280. Keep it right here on ABC 3340.